It is I who proudly feed two thirds of the Asian and half of the world population. That's right. I am a mighty rice plant. Most, if not all, living organisms on this planet have their own nemesis, and I'm no exception. Rice plant hoppers who feed only on my juicy stems leave a hopper burn on my body while spreading deadly diseases. In fact, they can contribute to up to 30 percent of overall losses in global rice production every year. 水稻上的病毒没想到于是人类说的癌症，这样它就基本上就没法治了。The most widely adopted solution so far is pesticides, but they just bring too much ecological burden, and it harms you too. Yes, you, rice-eating humans. 很多农业会致癌啊，然后把我们整个生态系统破坏的。它不仅仅对海中没有这个致死作用，事实上它也可能对生态系统当中其他的生物可能致死。Scientists realize they must seek a new solution simply by asking the plants. In the past decades, scientists have discovered that many plants, including rice. Are capable of summoning the enemies of their attackers by releasing invisible substances into the air. The logic is plain and simple: the enemy of my enemy is my friend. But understanding the sophisticated process is no easy task. Luckily, Professor Lo Yunggan is an expert in plants' language. In Lo's lab at China's Zhejiang University, researchers employ this unique device to collect and study one specific substance released by rice after they're bitten by plant hoppers. The nalowo. The smell of it is very appealing to parasitic wasps. 寄生蜂它可以根据这个挥发物找到这个寄主。然后呢，呃，寄生蜂它会寄生这个寄主，然后这死的这个寄主就这个害虫就死亡。This self-protective mechanism gave scientists an idea: if they could figure out what triggered rice to release lanadawo before pests even began to bite, the lovely little wasps would show up even sooner to kill the hoppers. So Lo and his colleagues embarked on a quest. For a molecular compound to make it possible, a process of reverse engineering. So, in this way, using this method, we can make many small amounts of rice in the soil. So, from this rice, we found a superfluid amino acid. So, from this rice, we found that it can be used to make rice in the soil. Found out. The artificial substance was mixed into the soil and was gradually absorbed by plants. Scientists soon detected a significant increase of lanadawol, and hoppers in the lab also died soon after. But there wasn't a single wasp in the lab, so who killed the hoppers? We found that in a accidental way, we made different plant hoppers in different periods of time. We used this accidental way to collect the plant hoppers from different periods of time. We used this accidental way to collect the plant hoppers from different periods of time. We used this accidental way to collect the plant hoppers from different 来观察，我们发现，在四点五天以后呢，水稻的薄壁细胞中出现了很多的颗粒状的沉积物。稻肥是它一个刺激式口气的害虫，所以它要取这水稻，它是取这水稻里面的呃嫩密部的汁液。那么它这样子进去的时候，它必须要掺入细胞呢。That means the chemical that's supposed to trigger plan to release more lanadawol. Just unexpectedly formed those little physical barrier inside the plant to block the plant hoppers' needle-like mouth parts. Imagine drinking a couple of bubble tea, but the entire straw is filled and blocked by loads of tapioca balls. 这样子呢，这个稻肥子就是水稻了，就基本上就被饿死，活活饿死。A lab experiment that turned out even better than what researchers had expected. But applying this method to farmlands may still be a long shot, Professor Lo said. 
One way would be to spray the leaves with the artificial substance, which can be easily done with agricultural drones. Another option is further explore molecular mechanisms and uses to genetically modify rice plants, so that the plants can self-activate insect resistance without any external treatment. Either way, this preliminary lab success has yet to be translated into agricultural use. But when it does, scientists believe it could revolutionize the way rice is grown across the world. 那么我们这个开发车就是为了农小分子化合物呢，它对于昆虫是没有直接作用，而是要通过把植物的抗中性给激发出来，然后才能够使导致昆虫死亡。所以相对来讲，它这个比原来的一些化学农药更安全、更绿色。